with that putting your kids to bed what's a good time to put kids to bed uh that varies it it varies on your schedule age your time i mean i know that there's a time no matter the kid's age that your kids need to be in their rooms Mm -hmm. and the house needs to be decluttered the house needs to be free you and your you know spouse needs the house free not to clean vacuum and all that but just just some good pick up I pay the mortgage. Yeah. I pay the rent. I I lease mm-hmm. this place. You guys don't go to your rooms. And even, I mean, even when our, I mean, KJ will tell you this. He's sitting right here running a camera. But uh, nine o'clock was usually what we did. Mm-hmm. We we're like, and now if they had friends over, we might give them one area of the home that would normally be, um, you know, a, a, we would take over. But they, the the structure so important. I I had someone just the other day talk about the boundaries and structure in marriage and kids, and they were like. And then they translated it to the way I passed her. Like, don't you think you should give more freedom and allow there to be more? Like, we do things so different. Like, uh, specifically, this person was like, man, what if the spirit leads and you just feel like you need to sing songs longer and you you know you're you're tied to multi site mm-hmm. and all this other other. Yeah. I said, well, God works in boundaries mm-hmm. in the same way with your kids. And I said. I don't know if you've ever scuba dived, but when you go underwater and see all those things that are underwater. It's so beautiful, but if they try to come out and walk on land, it's going to be so sad mm-hmm. because the beauty's found in the boundary. Mm-hmm. Those stars that I was looking at last night, I took a really cool picture of. They're beautiful up there, but if they break through the stratosphere mm-hmm. and hit on your property, they're going to kill you and a lot of other people. Mm-hmm. And you, those boundaries work well, and so find those for those ages and and they crave it. They crave it. They, you crave it. Your marriage at a craves very it. Very young age, you know. I mean. The kids that have very clear guidelines and structure are usually the most adjusted, well-adjusted kids um, because they know there's no option. You know, they, they learn how to govern themselves, how to learn right and wrong through you giving them structure as the adult and a child that doesn't know how to create those boundaries. And so you are teaching them how to just have a healthy, yeah. disciplined life that they will continue to do as they, as yeah. they get older. But they, they thrive when you give them parameters and structure and boundaries, bedtimes and, um, you know, regulations, whatever it is. Regulations. Don't, I don't, like that. Let's start calling that's it. That's a little big. Listen, kid, you're getting your regulations. I love that. That's like, <laughs> yeah, we've made our that's regulations like free will Baptist. Clear. That's hot. I love that. Listen, I've got your regulations. <laughs> uh, Speaking of that's probably what's getting ready to happen in our marriage.